All right, y'all. We're at it already this morning. Oh, crap. Just wait on my vacuum cleaner, Mom. I gotta, I gotta wipe everything up. Okay, well, at least we're talking. We're at it already this morning. It's just now getting daylight over here, and, uh, well, I've been up since 3.30 this morning. So, I got out here before daylight and started working on getting the truck cleaned up. Oh man, that way I ain't got too much to do today with the other, you know, with this truck. I can go ahead and get in the other truck and get it home because I got a lot of stuff I need to do with that one. I need to uh, hook a valve up beside the seat to where I can hook my horns up. I'll show you all that stuff here in a little while when I get to the yard. So I'm gonna go over stuff I did, uh, stuff I requested, and kind of made it personal, you know, to me, my truck, uh, the new one. So yeah, like right now, I mean, we're trying to get all this. Well, I'm was working with me. We're getting all this stuff uh, wiped up, degreasing everything, just wiping everything up real good. That way, I can get uh get onto the yard and get a. Uh, Get get back in, get, you know, get my new one. I'm sorry, I've got a lot going on here. This is pretty much the size of this little sleeper here. All right, you got your cab, of course, up there. A little walkway, two closets. I took the door off this side. They're gonna end up putting a refrigerator <coughs> and a microwave combo. Sorry for the coughing. Trust me, I don't smoke or nothing like that. It's just degreaser up in here all these chemicals but anyways yeah that's what i'm doing now is trying to get this stuff wiped up real good and get it cleaned up that way next driver that gets in here at least he'll have a nice truck a nice clean truck all right well i was working on getting the last floor mat done but fix this right there Side over there like that. Perfectly looks like a brand new truck in here again. Everything cleaned up, everything wiped down. Floors are all done. Seats are all wiped up. Windex to all the windows. And I did the dash and yeah. It's pretty dang I'm cleaning my eyes. Like I said, she just got the last big old floor mat right here done up. And we're going to put that in the truck. And I think that we're going to call it done on that one because uh, there ain't nothing else to do. Alrighty, alrighty. I gotta get out to open up the gate and all that stuff too. There it is, right there though. Ding, ding, ding. The old red one. We're gonna be red. We're gonna be red now instead of blue. I gotta get out and open up the gate and all that stuff and get up in here. This is gonna be awesome. I'm excited. That's not bad. running on down too. That sucker's hauling butt. Alright. Now we're going to get up here and park this one. And uh, we'll go fire the other one up so it can be warming up. I'm going to check my fluids first. And then I'm going to go hook it on my nasty old gas trailer over there. It's dirty. we got a few trailers on the yard right now. But boy, look at that thing right there. Uh-uh-uh. Boy, I can't wait. And there she is, you guys. That is a 2015 
389 Pete. Glider. Well, it's not a glider. They call it a kit truck now. They don't call them gliders no more. They call them kit trucks. But that's the old girl I'm going to get in now. You can see the work we've done to it. They, they completely repainted the whole truck and uh, the hood, the cab, sleeper. Uh, they completely painted the, uh, the tri-pack on it. They, kept, they painted the catwalk on it. He bought this truck from a guy in Nebraska, and uh, it has a lot of a lot of rust and stuff like that that I'm gonna have to touch up with some black paint. But all in all, the truck looks daggum good. I need to get these uh, stickers off the grab handles, and got a couple bolts up there. I don't know why they didn't repaint that, but. Uh, truck looks really good. I'm really excited about it. When we first got it, it had uh, had horns on the top. And I had them take them horns off and we added two more lights up top to make seven lights up top instead of just two, uh, instead of just regular five. I got the uh, the bumper and all that stuff. I got my emblems right here. And they come out fantastic, man. Them things look good. Uh, I actually bought these off of Amazon, and they was blue. They was blue to match the color of the blue truck I just got out of because I had them on the blue truck. And uh, so I took them off of there and sent them to the body shop, and they painted it the same color as the truck is. And I think they turned out just absolutely fantastic. I put my IFTA stickers on the little plates right there. I bought them little plates and the exhaust did have minor cut exhaust on them and I took and uh, had them chop the exhaust to a flat top stove pipe is what we call it man that sucker looks good they did a really good job on the paint looks really good the only thing I see that we need to try to fix here is is that breather right there don't look like it's it don't look like it's on the truck the right way so one of these days i might have to undo that a little bit and try to twist it a little bit it's got the hodge belt quarter fenders on it it don't have the half fenders like all of our other trucks do and the boss man wanted to take this stuff off of it but i told him i said no man you leave that on there it looks good uh it's got 22 low pro uh wheels on it we're gonna have, we're gonna change them from low pros to the uh, the tall rubber when when we wear these right here out, and uh, kind of looks funny with 22 fives on it. I'd much rather Peterbilt have 24 fives on it, but it is what it is. It's good. We'll ride it like that, and we'll wear them out, and then we'll get the taller rubber on it, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. It's already got a nice looking visor on it. The only thing is, is it ain't, I don't see no uh, coaxes coming out the mirror brackets, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to uh, buy me some coax and do that stuff. Let's look at the inside. It's got watermelon lights around it, and I love that too. All right. This is the inside of it. It's all carpet. i got to let the seat down. So they put a new seat in here. All right. Yeah, it is. It's rolled up back here. So this is the inside of it. It's already got a little work done to it. It's got a small custom steering wheel to it. It's got watermelon lights up top. It's got everything that you'd want. Now, this is a used truck. So, of course, there's going to be, like this right here, cracked all up and stuff like that, holes in the dash and stuff like that. I'm going to eventually just have to fix all that myself. Um, but... Not a bad truck. Let's see here. As we look into the sleeper here, of course you can tell how much bigger it is in here than that flat top. I got me a 5,000 watt power inverter right there. Got a refrigerator, microwave, spot to put TV and stuff fat. I mean, this is a, just a whole lot bigger truck than that flat top. We got panels right here these panels right here are going 
to, let's see here. Okay. Basically, these are blank panels with, with holes for a watermelon light at the bottom. And the reason why I got them to order me them panels is, is I'm going to put them right here. These lights don't match no other light on the truck. So I'm going to put them panels right here. And that single watermelon light will be down here for the red facing backwards. It's already got the chop breathers on it. Uh, I wish they were strapless. That'd be real nice. But it's not that hard to make them strapless. And I plan on doing that. Oh, man. I got me some airline right here. And he was supposed to have me a fitting in here, too. What kind? Let's see here. I hope he's got this fitting for me. Where's it at? Okay, yeah, that's what I need right there. All right. Good. He's got the fittings for me. We got a step right here. There wasn't nothing on here, and he wanted to put a box here, and I was like, no, I want a step. I don't like the big boxes and all that stuff. Got my train horns down here behind mounted on that. I need to get them home, and we need to get them fixed and stuff like that. And of course, I got six watermelon lights back here on the fan and radiator and stuff like that for the, the APU. Man, this is all in all. Man, I love this truck. The way it looks and all that stuff without the fairings on the back of the sleeper. We had to uh, we had to add uh, the uh, handlebars and stuff like that on the back of the sleeper. We had to have to add all these handles right here because uh, boss said if I'm going to put a step on this side and he put something I can grab onto, well, you know, it's, it's whatever. Uh, if, if it didn't have this on the back of the sleeper and it was just smooth across here, I would have never put the bars. But it don't look bad with all that on there. Uh, one thing I do need to do is I need to get a chrome cover to go there. You can tell it used to have one because somebody glued it right there. So you can tell it used to have one. And uh, I guess it come off going down the road. So I'm going to open up the hood on this thing. We're going to check the oil, get it warm, get it cranked up, get it warming up. And... Uh, yeah, we'll go. To, we'll get it warming up and go hook it up to the trailer. I'm enjoying the mess out of this. There was some lights or something right here. Good deal. It's already got wires running for it. Good deal. All right, I'm gonna crack this hood open and we're gonna check the motor out. Yeah, go do the other side, Mom. All right, and there's that Detroit. This is a, a rebuilt Detroit diesel, 60 series. It's 500 horsepower. That's what it's tested at. It could be pushing a little bit more, maybe a little less. I don't know. Uh, but usually all the Detroits we ever got with the gliders we got before, they was all 500 horsepower Detroits. It has disc brakes in the front. Good deal. I like that. Heck yeah, that's a plush right there. Have disc brakes on the front. I wonder if it's got disc brakes in the back. Uh, no. Got drum brakes, drum brakes. See all that. That's a drum brake. See the brake pads here, and then you got the drum here. This is the brake pad on the insides. And I see they didn't remove that that cover off of that. I need to take that off. And this right here is a disc brake. You can see the disc. Oh, look at the grease flop on the tire there. See the discs right there, right there, and the brake pads are up in there. So at least it's a plus of having uh, disc brakes on the front. It'll help you stop a little bit better. A blue truck right there has got disc brakes all the way around it. Let's come to this side. I mean, it's a pretty clean motor. It's not, uh, it's pretty clean. I can't really say nothing else about it. It's pretty clean. Uh, well, we pull the oil stick out. You can see it's got full of oil. Actually, it's probably a little bit over full. So, if anybody knows what I'm about to say here, if you know what a Detroit is, you know it's probably going to blow it right out the blow-by. It ain't a Detroit if it don't blow it out the blow-by. So, yeah. Cool deal.
just gonna roll around with my dance car now? It was quite yes, definitely Oh, they're alright. Well, well, like I said, you want some? Like I said, it's, it's louder than uh, the blue one is. Yeah, it's got the straight pipes on and stuff like that. It's muffler down underneath the truck. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's a little bit louder. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But it, it ain't too loud. It, it'll it'll roar when you first strike it out, but then it'll quieten up here in a minute. Uh, once it you know builds up a little bit of air and, and warms up a minute, it'll get warm. It'll uh, quiet down a little bit. Man, I just love the way that truck sounds. If it was a cat, oh man, it would sound a whole much better. But I just love the way that truck sounds, the way it looks, the color of it. Man, it's gonna be fun driving this one. It's gonna be real fun. I forgot to take uh, these antennas off of the house. So me and my wife brought a couple tools so we could take these antennas off. While that truck's warming up, I'm gonna do that. And uh, there ain't nothing else on this truck right here that uh, I didn't got everything off of it. So this is another truck right here that when it got bought brand new, I drove this one right here for about uh, this is before I got the stand up before the purple stand up I had before this is the truck I had before that one was this one and this is a very very nice it's like a light light purple on the paint but it's got the dark purple frame and this one right here is 275 inch long back window all the lights I mean this truck right here was it's air ride front end too uh, this one right here this red one here, that's probably the oldest truck that we got in our fleet now. That's actually an old Peterbilt 379. I think that's a 2005 model 379. So yeah, that's the oldest truck we got in our fleet now. But boy, I sure like the old squared off look of the old 379s. Yeah, and we got all kind of trailers sitting back there still. They're getting brand new trailers and stuff like that. They got uh, one brand new trailer and two of them back there in the back. I'll show y'all them when we get back there. <coughs> but yeah, we got flat tops for days. All right, we're gonna get these antennas off of there and we'll see y'all when we go hook up over there. All right, there it is, guys. I got a few lights that are out on the back of the breather, but like I said, I got them other panels to fix that problem right there. Uh, it could have happened while they was, you know, dicking around, taking all that stuff off while they was painting it. As you can tell, this light right here has got some diodes missing out of it. Every one of these lights is gonna be changed to a glass watermelon light. The way that looks sitting up on the truck right there, to me, that's perfect, the way it sits. Uh, they got the 22 fives on my trailer too back here And uh, man, it don't look bad at all on this on this Howell trailer it looks really good it Matches the truck. I'll get them wheels right there polished out one day and uh, But yeah, there it is right there There's all kind of stuff I've already got thoughts about doing with this truck and it's just gonna take a little bit of time, but we'll eventually get it like I want it. But every one of these watermelon lights, I'm gonna change them all to the glass lens so they shine better. And I'm gonna do the trailer the same way. Man, that APU looks really good. Paint it like that. I am so excited. Man, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to learn how to shift that Detroit. Cause I've been driving a Cummins for such a long time. That Detroit's gonna shift a whole lot different than that Cummins did. So it's gonna take a minute to get used to that. Uh, but it's a learning curve. Every time you get in a different truck, it's not gonna be the same. They're always gonna, they're always gonna be different. Right now, I'm gonna show you some trailers we got, uh, some old Howls. And we started buying, my boss started buying the Mack trailers, the Mack LTT trailers and uh, this is one trailer right here that they just got in last week uh, this one right here they've been having uh, 
this is a brand new one, but it ain't been on the road for about a month. And this one right here, they just got in this past week. It looks dirty because the driver had to go up there to Ohio and get it. So he had to drive in the snow and ice and all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. The only thing difference between this trailer right here and this trailer right here is this trailer's got a lift axle on it. And this trailer right here don't. Uh, that's what the back of them look like. Beautiful trailers. My boss even got the GPT etched out in the back bumper. That is so cool. But uh, this is one of the one of the old Hiles right here. This is one of the first trailers that they ever bought. Nothing spectacular about that one. And both of these right here are five hole trailer. They're five compartment. Uh, this trailer right here is the one I was pulling last week. Uh, was it was it this one right here last week? Yeah, that's 43, 33. That's the one I was pulling last week. This one right here is a, a Stevens trailer. To me, that's a junky trailer. They bought them trailers for cheap, but they're so heavy and built weird. They just, if you ever want to go buy you a tanker trailer, don't buy a Stevens unless it's a single barrel. This is another Matt trailer right here. This is actually my cousin's trailer. He's pulling the deaf, deaf today. So that's his trailer right there. And this is another brand new Howl trailer that ain't even been on the road yet. We've had this trailer right here for probably probably four or five months now, and it ain't even seen the first load yet. They're waiting on the new truck to come in for it. Uh, they don't like to put a new trailer on an old truck, so they put the new trailer on the new trucks. And here's another old Howl that we have here on the yard. And as you can tell back there at the wash rack back there, there's another trailer sitting back there. That might be have a truck hooked up to it. But yeah. Man, we're going to get up out of here and get to the house. I still got a lot of work I need to get done. It looks so much different right down the road. Out the windshield with no split in the middle of it, like the classic bigger build. If y'all didn't notice, this has got a one-piece windshield. And man, it looks so different right down the road like that. I got my gas trailer back there in the back. Got some blocks underneath the landing gear. And then got my gas, uh, the single hole right here in front of it. And then there she is. I'm really, really pleased with the way she drives, the way she feels going down the road. Man, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. She is a whole lot smoother ride than that air ride front end was. 
Man, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be super nice, man. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna get busy on getting all my stuff back in this one now. And uh, there's a few little, there's a few little things that needs to get fixed on it. But I just do it a little bit at a time, you know. It's not like a, a boss man, you know, he lets me do whatever I want to with the truck because I, I work my freaking butt off for him. But he uh, he told me just to do a little bit at a time. Don't go crazy with it. So as I'm going along with it, I'll be fixing it up and doing different stuff like that with it and making it a little bit more better. I got a few lights that ain't working and just a little neat pick stuff, man. I'll give y'all one more little walk around of it. And like I said, I, I, I got the watermelon lights for right down here at the corner of the bumpers. Uh, we took the horns off, man. It looks good without them horns. But that's it right there. Man, that sucker looks good. The guys over at the body shop did a damn good job with the painting. It's even got little lights up underneath the side of the sleeper there. Shines down. That sucker looks good. I love the look of the, the quarter fenders like that. Oh, man. That's about it all I wanted to, to do with y'all today. You know, I need to get this. I need to really get busy. It's supposed to be raining uh, tonight. It's supposed to start raining tonight. So I've got to get this stuff done. So this is going to take me the rest of the day messing with all this. I've got to get my airlines run to my train horns. i got to put my valve in there. i got to do all that stuff. I know I keep saying the same thing over and over, but i got a lot of stuff I need to get done. So we'll get back on with y'all tomorrow uh, for our normal. we got to go back up to Cotton Valley, and we got to load another load going to Louisville, Kentucky this time. And then I found out that my second load for the week is going right back to Russellville to that uh, Logan Aluminum. So we're going to give this Detroit right here a run for its money this week. And hopefully she runs good for me and hopefully she she uh, she works good for me. So we're going to cut this one off right here. Y'all have a blessed one. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and all that stuff. Peace.